Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. If you were watching my videos, you may have seen this video that's in the background where I gave you a free helical marble run that I was trying to build, and I let that project go for a while, and then I found another way. This is my new marble run. Friends, I'm going to release this file to you on Tankercad, so let's get cracking. So the project is called Pineapple Twist because it uses the pineapple and this sweet little tool called the buttress that I found. And I'll show you where I found them. But first, this is where I'm going to go to the object, which on my screen it's called Egg and Holes because I just fixed it. And I'm going to change it to Pineapple Twist here. And I'm going to make it public so that you can all find it and play with it. So let me show you what I did. If we take this brown one, and make it transparent you can see it's the same as the one over here and it is also the one that I'm holding here what happens is this twist allows the little BB the airsoft pellet that I dropped in to be able to go all the way down and then when you flip it over it rides back on the exact same ridges I made this because I thought it was kind of fun and I like the challenge but if you've got a cat or a small child I think this is a awesome little project that you can make and customize so that they'll enjoy it. The one back here behind us, I simply cut out little holes so that you can actually see the ball going through. Here you can hear it. This one will be able to see it. I'll pull it off the printer in a minute so you can check out how it turned out. And of course, I'm also going to put these on Thingiverse uh, so that you can just print it if you wanted. Before we get to that, let me deconstruct it quick for you. So I've got two little tubes on the top and the bottom that we subtract out so that there's a hole that you can actually see the ball down there. And then I used two of these pineapples to make the shape. So if I ungroup that, you can see that there's an outside pineapple and I'm gonna ungroup those as well. So there's my outside pineapple and if I hide that, there's the inside pineapple that's a hole. Bring them all back real quick. I'm going to grab just those two items. Notice I'm checking here to make sure that I've grabbed just them. And then I group them. I'm going to hide this part and I'll show you the buttress. While that's joining, let's go to the all and I'll show you what page these are on. I had to go all the way out to page 15 to find the semi buttress and I'm not sure what word is after that. And then on page 16, I found the pineapple that I chose to play with. So now that those two are grouped again, let's hide it. When I brought in the buttress, I will unlock it for a second. And you can see that I chose two twist. I made the height 12. I chose a thickness of two and I was just guessing. And then the inside diameter, I made it two so that there was a little gap in the middle, uh, no offset. And then I made a bottom up offset of two and a half and the outside diameter is 20. That's how it fits exactly inside my pineapple. When I brought in my pineapple, I took its radius and I made it size 15, which means the diameter would be 30, and that's why it fits over there just all dandy. Right now it looked funny because it was down below, but you can see those are twins. And then for these little pieces that I cut out, I simply lined them up. I made them cones that poke in a long ways. I made the one on this side, I duplicated it, mirrored it, and I used control up to get it to the height so that it would pop across. And then the final thing I did was I locked this piece so that when everything else grouped, it could not mess that up. And then the final project you guys all get to see is this one right here where the entire project is grouped. Well, let's back that up. I need to unlock these real quick. The nice thing about locking something is it doesn't group, and I didn't want those to move. Uh, now when I group it, it'll have the flat space that I want and the little holes underneath and above for the shape when it's finished. These two will both be on Thingiverse, and then, of course, you will have access to this file so you can make it way more cool. Uh, so much room to play. I am using Airsoft BB, so my entire project is based on something this small. If you've got a larger sphere that you want to run through your little marble run, uh, you can create it for any size object you want. That's why I'm giving you this, is so that you guys can create more epic and awesome things. Alrighty friends, so this is the one that we just created. Uh, now you can see the ball actually rolling through. <laughs> it is working like a champ. Now you also need to understand that that ball gets in there because I dump it in while it's printing. That part is pretty tricky, 
Uh, I'm not going to tell you how many times I dropped the BB before I actually got it in, but I will show you the technique I used real quick to make it a little bit more easy. All right, friends, so what we have here is a large zip tie. And you don't ever want to put your fingers by your printer's hot end because it is super hot. So what I did was when it was print in the middle, I just reached in and then I dumped this in. And I think the last one took me like seven tries. Uh, the first two that I was testing, I was able to do it on the first try and I thought I was a genius. Uh, turns out I was just lucky. But this is how I protect myself while I'm dumping the little BB in to our groovy little marble room. All right, friends, so if you're looking for this, remember if you click the little search and you type pineapple twist and, hit, and just hit search. When you first hit it, you won't see it because it's sorting by likes, but if you sort by latest, boom, there it is. Click that picture so you can get to the details screen. Of course, friends, you can help it show up by giving it that like button. You can also tinker, download, make your awesome ones. You'll be able to find it on Thingiverse, and you can share the cool things that you found. Friends, if you do make something useful and take time to share it with me, at HLModTech, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and there's nothing cooler than seeing when you take some of my training and make it into something more awesome. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.